All right, y'all, we got to talk about this mess with this these Chris Brown concerts and these meet and greets with these girls yeah. paying $1,000, taking photos. And this one particular story, this isn't the only one. Since this has come out, I've seen a couple others mm -hmm. of relationships getting ruined from this meet and greet. So let's check this out. Woman says her boyfriend broke up with her after her meet and greet picture with Chris Brown went viral. So you all can see the photo there. Mm -hmm. And what's funny about this, and this isn't to defend her, but like of the photos that I've seen, <laughs> of the photos I've seen, this is one of the most tamed ones. This lying. is like, he posed like he's taking another prom. This is like one of them prom right. type of poses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not, not minimizing it, but one of the more tame ones. So mm -hmm. this is what she said. My boyfriend broke up with me because I allowed Chris Brown to hold my waist during the meet and greet. After the picture went viral, my boyfriend immediately broke up with me. He told me Chris Brown was too close to me and I shouldn't have allowed him to hold me like that. But I don't care. I will trade my boyfriend for a meet and greet with Chris Brown a hundred more times. This is fascinating stuff. This is hilarious. Okay, I got. Okay. I, I, I've been wanting to talk You're about like, this for. You go first. Go ahead. I've been wanting to talk about this because I find this <laughs> so funny. Don't cover everything. I want something. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I don't. It's so much I can say about. It. I guess where I start with is okay. Should they? Should like as a man? Should you feel a way about um, your girl going to a Chris Brown concert and a meet and greet and taking photos? This particular photo. Um, no, I don't think this photo was like the end of the world compared to, and I guess maybe, maybe I'm just completely tainted because mm -hmm. I've seen him grabbing butts and stuff and him just like getting, I guess, consent to just do all types of picking up girls so true. much. I mean, his oh chiropractor has to be working overtime because this man is putting in massive work in these meet and greets. So I've seen a whole bunch of different type of, um, crazy photos. Mm -hmm. To where this one felt super tame. Like I said, it was so kind of like a prom pick almost. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like for this to be like the thing that he was outraged on. Okay, obviously you don't want anybody holding your girl like in any type of way that close, you know, anytime behind up against. Like you don't want any of that, obviously. <laughs> but it was just it was funny that this was the yeah. one. When I first heard about this and was hearing about, you know, people getting broken up with over these things, mm -hmm. I was just laughing because I was assuming it was going to be the more outrageous ones mm -hmm. to me now she could be mischaracterizing but like to me the more egregious aspect isn't necessarily that it's more the thousand dollars for it and me being in a relationship with somebody that um would want to be in a meet and greet with chris brown spending a thousand dollars this is not just the ticket price we're talking about a specific meet and greet to get a photo with him, you're paying a thousand dollars. It's always on top of the regular. On top of the regular cost. Yeah. And tickets aren't uh -huh. cheap. I mean, if this was if he was in a stadium or something like that, we're talking hundreds of dollars um, for bad seats, not even good seats. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I think just the whole aspect of paying all of this money to do a meet and greet with Chris Brown, I think it's just interesting how many girls that we see doing it and like where people are. I, I have a hard time, maybe, I don't know. I'm all for you know black women, excellence and all that stuff. So maybe there's a lot more well off black women than I'm realizing there are as far as finances. <laughs> so I hope, I, I'm gonna tread lightly on how I talk about it, but it's just hard, I, I find it so hard. Let me put it on solo. I find it so hard to believe that all of these women are just balling out to where they okay. can just drop a thousand dollars with the way inflation from. is Come and on. how crazy the economy is, and cost of everything, buy groceries the next day. gas, the cost of <laughs> eggs and simple things. I just yeah. find it very hard to believe that you just got an extra thousand dollars on top of the cost of like just to go to a to watch your favorite artist now is already difficult. But I I find it hard to believe. So forgive me if that's just like crazy in my head to, that people would be willing to pay about a thousand dollars for mm -hmm. that. Hope I didn't take too much, but I, I've been waiting to talk about this nah, for a you while. Get it. Now you get this. Is the thing overall, I'm gonna say, I don't know them, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know their relationship. I don't know how long they've been together. Sure. But the way it ended is very, very telling. Oh, for sure. On both parts, right? For him, do I think like just does this sound like he knew that she was going to the concert? Yes. And I will say that the last Chris Brown tour that happened. He also did this meet and greet, and pictures were also like a thousand dollars because people hmm. talked about this before. This is not the first yeah. time I'm hearing about this, right? It worked out. Let's do it again. Let's run it back. Okay. So I yeah. don't know. It, it seemed like he knew she was going. It seemed like she knew she she was going to get a picture, but he didn't like how close 
and how he was holding her waist. Right? Not, to, not to interrupt you, but let me ask you this because I want to get your thought on this yeah. too. I should have asked him before, but do you think he saw all the other girls and how they looked in those photos and it didn't matter what? It's just the fact that she was included in on all the girls that we were seeing? 100%. So you, you think it's like... He probably isn't even that offended by how that one looked. He's like in the grand scheme. No, he's grouping her in. They're not his girl. And her picture went viral. So a lot of people are probably like, oh, they look so cute together. Blah, 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 blah. Him as a man. So he in the comment pride, section. Right, right. Um, like, Fair. oh, he with my girl. She with Chris Brown. She on him like, she's so happy, whatever. And that's my girl. Like, so this kind of like, this is like another rehash of like the... Um, Kiki Palmer and Darius thing type of it's energy, type of vibe. that type of thing, right? Baby, you're not, all of that, because we know that was part of it. He was like, you a whole mother, whatever. Yeah. And so I just think that's a big deal, right? <laughs> he knew she was going, I think. He probably yeah. knew she was going to get the picture. He just didn't like the closeness and him holding this, okay? So he was like, it's over. That's it, whatever. Mm -hmm. Your picture went too viral. Pictures of us don't even go that, whatever, I guess. I, I never know. saw this photo until this. Yeah, yeah, fair. very true. Now, here's the other thing. She said at the end... That she will trade her boyfriend for a meet and greet with Chris Brown a hundred more times. <laughs> Y'all, this is what I said. You don't actually have to know these people. You don't actually have to know how long they were together. She's saying that the way it ended, right, mm -hmm. or how wonderful she felt in those 10 seconds that they said, say cheese and take the picture. She said she would trade it for that whole relationship. So either that relationship won all that in the yeah. beginning, right? Yeah. She could have already thinking about dropping him. It could be, you know, ever since you were a child, a lot of girls, especially, we like, that's my husband, Chris Brown, right? So she's like, I will trade that moment for anyone. Nobody is better than Chris. I don't know. But we're talking about if they were in a relationship where they were committed, where they felt like they loved each other, right? Where she thought he could possibly be her future husband. All the things, the dad of her child, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. But she said she would trade it for a picture a hundred times more. Yeah. Y'all, that's yeah. telling. That's very, very, it's very telling. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, he let that picture in their relationship and, you know, her waist was being held. He could have just been like, you know, that one cool, blah, blah, blah. It ended it. She said, cool. Not only that, but I would never take it back. Like, I would do it a lot more times. So that's just crazy to me. Yeah, it's definitely crazy. Yeah. Um, I think takeaways from it is yeah. a lot of relationships are very uh, built on weird foundations, very fragile foundations. Yeah. I'm not saying that this isn't a reason to break up. I think this goes many steps earlier in actually having a relationship where both people are all on the same page. Clearly, I think a lot of people just have certain assumptions on how they want their relationship to look and they're not doing a good enough job articulating that yeah. to the person that they're with. So and I bring up the I only bring up the Kiki Palmer situation because we understand that was there was a lot of stuff that Our she layers. included mm -hmm. in as far as abuse and well, so like found out after the fact. It got yeah. wild so I can't even speak to that. Like mm -hmm. but the reason I bring that up is because there were very unhealthy expectations from one party that they were imposing on the other party. And it seemed like that other party clearly was not for that. And it's like I think people have to have both the courage and self-respect to say, like, you're not for me if you're not with this. And that's okay. Not everybody is going to be what you're about. Um, not everybody's going to share your values and things like that. But I think you got to have those conversations up front. And this is why I also I always say it's very important that you don't just look at the person that you're dating or don't get into a relationship with a person off of superficial things. Get into a relationship because you like the person that they are on a character standpoint. Sure, personality you see compatibility with that, but you got you gotta have a it. Got, it can't just be they look good. Yes, that can be something that immediately that's gonna be the first thing you see a person. You're like, oh yeah, they're attractive to me. That works, but like it can't just be that simple, and it can't just be that simple. It can't be about um, sexual desire even. Like you have to be, you have to. Have such a deeper pursuit, I think, when it comes to that. And I understand dating, people treat dating differently. Some mm -hmm. people are like, you know, well, date, you have dating. You could be dating multiple people before you're actually in a relationship. Mm -hmm. That's that. Um, I understand that aspect of it. But I'm just saying, like, you got, if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, boyfriend, girlfriend, all that, I think it needs to actually be a clear understanding of values. And now you're trying to see, you know, take it to another level 
of relationship with that person. And I think there needs to be clear boundaries with that. Mm -hmm. There was no clear boundaries in this situation. Uh, it yeah. seemed like it was just like silly relationship to me. Very I, immature. I it ended. Yeah. You know, and I guess I would want the ladies to chime in. My question would be like, is, is it worth it? Even the pictures that you talk about like this, like a little bit more crazier than this. Mm -hmm. Like keep in mind, yes, we grew up singing all his songs. We love him, blah, blah, blah. He's the artist in this scenario. Okay, we're talking about him. But I'm just saying, keep in mind, he getting that money. He taking that picture. And then he going to go to the next person in that line. So if your relationship really is something mm -hmm. that you want to hold on to, is taking this crazy photo that you know, yeah. you know, your significant other may see, probably will see you, will post, whatever, whatever, and make them feel uncomfortable stuff. We should be thinking about that too. Yeah. Like, how's exactly. that gonna make them feel? Like, I feel like on top of the world with this person, blah blah blah, who literally like in other relationships got kids with other people, blah blah blah. Like, we just have to put everything yeah. into perspective, especially when I we're agree. spending that much money. <laughs> like, come on, y'all. That's just that's I just agree. my thought. You know, I agree. I also think I don't co-sign the type of pictures people were taking with him or the thousand dollars they paid, but. Um, playing devil's advocate, if you are in a relationship with somebody, uh, they should know that you're going to do that and they should be okay with it. And if they're not okay with it, you either need to end that relationship or you don't do it. If they're not okay with it and the person you're with is not okay with something, you should not do it. But if you are going to go against that anyway, then be expected to be broken up with. Expect for that relationship to end. And sometimes that's okay if you're mm -hmm. gonna... You want to live your best life and you want to do what you yeah. want to do. Understand there's consequences to it. I and, hope it doesn't have to go that, that simple, far. Yeah. Talk it out beforehand. Think about the pose. It looks like Chris Brown will do whatever pose that you want, right? Talk about what is an okay pose. What's a pose that you would like, you know, you'd be kind of like, ugh, but you wouldn't hate. Like, just if you care about, I'm just saying if you really, really care about their relationship. Why not? Yeah. And, and again, for me, this was tamed. This was tamed in the grand scheme of things. Look. So I kind of, that's maybe my bias in it is like, I'm like, yeah, you probably just didn't want anything close. You didn't want any of that. Really, you don't want to look like he's looking at the same camera that she's looking at. Like, yeah. this is funny to me, but whatever. Yeah. I don't think it was worth it. If, if you really liked the guy, if you really thought it was a good relationship, I don't think it was worth it. But that's just me. So mm. love to know what you all think. Was it worth it? Uh, would you do that? Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But before you head out, make sure you like this video and subscribe to yes. our channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos.